For his ABC News, Capitol Hill. That's the latest from Washington. Now joining us live via Skype tonight from Washington is Congressman Blake Farenthold. And Congressman, we certainly appreciate you taking the time to do this. I know it's been a, a stressful evening for you. But uh, did you vote no tonight with the rest of the Texas delegation? I did. The entire Texas Republican delegation uh, thought the Senate uh, proposal didn't go far enough to dealing with our economic woes. Well, how would you respond to those who would accuse conservative Republicans, yourself included, of drawing the nation to the brink of default and causing this partial government shutdown really all for nothing? Well, we've been wanting to talk about this and negotiate a deal with the president for almost two months now. It was pretty clear they were looking for a, a government shutdown for political gain. The rhetoric throughout all of this was we'll talk after we've reached a deal. But clearly, well, we've clearly reached Blake, a deal. The, public, the public wasn't going along with that, though, and those were Republican talking points that we heard over and over again. Seventy-four percent, according to the latest ABC poll that I saw, of the nation blames Republicans for causing this mess. That can't be good for the future hopes of the GOP. Well, I'm not so much concerned about politics as I am about good policy, Joe. And we can't go on spending money that we don't have. We can't go on with policies that don't grow the economy and uh, create jobs. But we're lucky that we're doing well in Texas with the oil boom. But it's not that way all across the country. Isn't it a matter of strategy, though, Blake, if, if something doesn't work and isn't working, as this did not work for the Republicans, is it incumbent upon lawmakers to try another way to try to achieve their, their uh, desires? And our Internet has just frozen, unfortunately. <laughs> I was afraid of that. Well, uh, this happens occasionally, and uh, Congressman Farenthold agreed to join us live. We appreciate him doing that, but apparently the Internet is now stopped and it's uh, going to recover real soon if we can recover it we'll get back to him unfortunately uh, our skype interview is over with blake farenthold joining us live from washington tonight and as he said he voted no with the rest of the texas congressional delegation tonight in the house